Hi friends, this might be the end of our troubles with um, this uh, transmission failsafe mode. So let me introduce you to the guilty module, which I suspect to be the faulty one, uh, TCM. It seems to, to be disturbed when the, the tension varies, so we have decided to supply this module with this, these ingredients. A second battery, a voltage converter, 12 uh, 220, a computer supply, which in this case is a Toshiba, which delivers 13 volts under 3 amps, and a resistor, an adjustable resistor. Okay, so the gray the gray wire is the the exit supply, calibrated 14.1, which is the tension that uh, the, the alternator supplies when uh, everything is all right when you when you drive. Okay, so the most important realize here. Here you get to identify first the supply of the ECU which is still connected uh, at its source from the uh, main battery, okay? And our wire coming from the trunk now connected to the TCM. You see the, the diameter of the wires are bigger than other wires. Uh, Here's the ECU, here is our transmission control module, and you see uh, the red wire, it's uh, the one we were interested in. So, the plus is melted here with the R plus 14.1 stabilized and connected into this domino connector. And the minus from the battery is connected to the ground here, the green wire, which is connected with the other grounds in order to put everyone at the same potential. So, concerning the ECU, melted to in this domino connector, it's also melted and connected because if you lose this supply, you lose the car. No more engine, no more brakes, nothing, no more lights. It's very, very important for your safety. If you lose the supply of the TCM, no problem, you will only fall into failsafe mode, which you are used to. <laughs> But losing the rest, uh, it's a, it would be a, a deadly circumstance, okay? So, once it's done, secure the, the connection of the battery. I do it with this belt. Okay, now it's done. It's linked correctly to the chassis. And uh, in order to put it... operation okay here we connect and here we start so we experiment with a, a completely loaded battery we've done 300 kilometers uh, something like three hours and a half this battery is a uh, 100 amps so it's supposed to deliver 100 amps during one hour or an amp for 100 hours here we are we are drinking we are consuming uh, 3 amps and uh, the converter maybe it is something like 10 amps so we are supposed to be uh, tranquil for 10 hours let's divide it by 2 and five, a 5 hour trip could be planned but uh, in my further modification I will introduce uh, something to get um, from the main battery uh, the tension to to recharge it it's uh, on the forecast okay so with this module uh, with this installation we've, we managed to to make a, a week on a vacation last uh, last week and 60 600 uh, kilometers without any kind of problem like before when you break when you stay parked uh, anything like that. So if you want uh, more details, uh, don't uh, hesitate, contact me, I will try to answer as far as possible. If you can't do that uh, at once, drive with the air conditioner. The air conditioner is, um, 
oblige it obliges the, the the engine to 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 run a little higher so maybe you will get the, the 14 volts without this but in my case i don't use the, the ac all the time all the year and i i wanted to be really sure to display to to supply with a um, stabilized power so guys hold on sorry for my poor english and I hope you will succeed too. I will uh, let you inform if, if any kind, uh, if any kind of further modification occurs uh, or trouble. But uh, I wish you good luck. Thank you.